This is a pilot's eye view of runway 14 at Branson, Missouri, where the pilots of Southwest Flight 4013 were supposed to land. This is runway 12 at Clark Airport, also called Taney County Airport, seven miles away, where they actually landed. One runway at 140 and one runway at 120 is 20 degrees difference in the direction that those runways are, are pointing. Pretty close. Very close. That's one possible explanation for why that 737 landed at the wrong airport, according to Stasi Poulos. He's a longtime pilot and president of a company which builds software for flight simulators. At the Leesburg Executive Airport in Virginia, inside a simulator called Redbird, Poulos entered in the exact GPS readings and visual scenery of the approach to both those airports in Missouri. The GPS instrument is straightforward. We're supposed to follow this magenta line and it will eventually become this white line and eventually it will hit the blue circle which is the Branson Airport. Poulos says in these situations the coordinates of the airport entered are actually the identifiers like LGA for LaGuardia or LAX. He says it's unlikely the Southwest pilots would have entered that information wrong in this case because the identifiers for those two airports are fairly different. Branson is KBBG. Taney County is KPLK. What could have gone wrong? Pula says at the point you're looking at that GPS and steering to that line, both the Branson and Taney County airports can come into physical view, parallel to each other, through the same windshield panel. They're that close. At that point, it's possible the pilots were only looking out the window. It's clear from looking at it in the simulator that visual will have to be investigated for sure because that's one of the definite factors in this kind of situation. Former NTSB investigator Peter Goles told us that among non-commercial pilots, landing at the wrong airport does happen on occasion, but he says among commercial flights, this is truly extraordinary. The pilots in question in the Southwest flight have been removed from flying duty pending an investigation. Well, Brian, we're also getting some new information on the situation with the air traffic control in this case. What are you learning? Well, the source is telling CNN that uh, this flight was cleared to land at Branson by an air traffic controller at the Branson airport, and that controllers didn't know of the mishap until minutes later when the pilot who was on the ground at the wrong airport at that particular moment radioed them and told them that he'd landed at the wrong airport, and uh, also that the airport where they actually landed, there is no control tower.